Hey everybody, Ben here from DMC Films and Cinderblock Studios, and this is everything you need to know about charcoal in less than five minutes. <laughs> charcoal, along with graphite, is a top choice for grayscale drawing media. It's usually made with ash from natural burnt wood and a little bit of carbon as a stabilizer. It's also one of the oldest drawing media on the market since it dates back to cave drawings. When talking about charcoal, there are three main types. Vine charcoal, compressed charcoal, and charcoal pencils also fit in here, and powdered charcoal. Vine charcoal is great for practice, especially if you're using newsprint and drawing figures. However, it can be a little bit brittle. Compressed charcoal is actually very similar to Conte crayon, except for the fact that it's much lighter. Another form of compressed charcoal are charcoal pencils. Charcoal pencils are made with a binder, usually gum arabic, can be anywhere from very soft to very hard and are perfect for detail work. Then of course we have powdered charcoal, which I don't actually have any around to show you, but it's powdered. Most of the time, powdered charcoal is used to tone a very large area. It's great for subtractive methods for artists who want to employ the kneaded eraser, and it's really good for skin tones. Most of the time, charcoal is used for figure drawing and portrait drawing. However, many teachers will also use charcoal to help their students understand value and line weight. Alright, so you want to try some charcoal for yourself. Well, what kind of papers do you need? If you're new to charcoal, I recommend picking up some newsprint. It's thin, it's cheap, and if you don't like a drawing, you can just tear it off and throw it aside. If you've used charcoal before and you want to do something a little more complex, why not pick up some regular drawing paper? It should be all you need. In terms of charcoal, drawing and sketch papers are great for mid-range drawing, but keep in mind they don't handle a lot of heavy media very well. If you're looking for something for an extended drawing time that'll really take a little bit more abuse, take a look at something like pastel paper, bristle paper, or even something simple like cardboard. Now with any media, you're going to need some additional tools, so here's the other things you're going to need. Now if you are using charcoal, you're absolutely going to need a kneaded eraser. Trust me, it's absolutely vital, and even if you don't like these, as soon as you use charcoal, you're going to need one. Most of the time you're not doing any kind of blending, but something really quick with your thumb or your finger usually works just fine. But if you're paranoid about using your fingers to move that charcoal around the page, pick up a blending stump. And if you're in your local art store buying all this stuff or shopping online, you might see a chamois cloth, which are really great for blending big areas, small areas, it doesn't matter. Overall though, charcoal can be a great medium for beginners. It's fairly cheap, but it is a little messy. However, it's an ideal medium for understanding the figure. So for more art videos like this one, subscribe to the channel. This has been from DMC Films and Center Block Studios. See you guys next time.